Hello again, and welcome back to another one. And today we have an update to the drama we covered hours ago all the way from South Africa, from the rapper who initially claimed he could body Eminem, and also more on Eminem's latest milestone that's reached a wider audience, as many on social media just found out that Eminem has now had the first album from the 2000s to top 3 billion streams on Spotify across all music genres. And now you could pretty much say, in terms of albums overall that have aged the best from the 2000s, you could say the Eminem show and the facts will be on your side, a stark contrast from the narrative on social media. And we'll be exploring some reactions to this, but before we get started, remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So chart data was slow with this, just like this user pointed out. This chart data is sometimes slower than Internet Explorer, and they finally dropped this a few hours ago. Eminem's The Eminem Show has now surpassed 3 billion streams on Spotify. It's the first studio album from the 2000s to reach this milestone. And if you remember, back in May 2020, they also reported when it hit 2.5 billion streams back then, the first album to do so, so it's always led the pack for albums from the 2000s. And I remember back then that this news actually hurt the feelings of many detractors when it dropped, here's an example, and the first douchebag to reach this milestone. And it's nice to see that the detractors are still crying as it continues to trailblaze. This sets the tone. People in the comments crying, and this is what the user is referring to. <laughs> Biggest fraud in music history, or better yet this one, guy who can't get a girlfriend's music. And this one got this response, 10 years into my relationship with my girl, I guess I can't get a partner now lol, to which another user expanded, exactly. Apparently, there are millions of us who can't get a partner. Well, according to global estimates, there's over 30 million fans like that, but some of the best of the worst can be found on the hip hop thread about this where a user claimed that only people in Montana and South Dakota listened to this album. The user deleted the tweet shortly after getting schooled and ratioed with this. Now, he wouldn't sell out arenas in Australia, 80,000 attendants in Melbourne, Africa, 80,000 in South Africa, the Middle East, 35,000 in Abu Dhabi, Europe, 105,000 in Italy, North America and South America. If only people in Montana and South Dakota listened to him, would he? And it's just as this user adds, Hip Hop Twitter is the only place you'll find Eminem disrespect. If he's not in your top 10 of all time, keep that ish to yourself, legend. And it's mostly on Twitter you see ridiculous comparisons like this. Nate Dogg greater than M until I collapse. Translation, we'll just say anything to make sure Eminem doesn't get the win. And here's one to end this before we head to the next point. One of the best albums of all time, and is this one you agree with across all genres in your opinion? Now moving on to the next point, we recently covered a story about South African rapper Nasty C who had a few words to say about Eminem. I could, I tell you what, I could actually, I could actually, I could spank Eminem. And there's been an update to this, but first, for those who don't know, when it comes to Eminem fans that support this channel, South Africa is top 5. It goes US, UK, India, Canada and South Africa. And many turned up in the comment section after the last video on this with comments like, I'm from Cape Town and this brother delusional as hell. Another user added, everyone is allowed to dream but some dreams are just, well, dreams. Another popular reply, I'm South African and this man is hard capping. And after a user stated, who is Nasty C, M has more fans in South Africa than E does lol, many jumped in the replies to confirm, I'm South African and this is 100% true. And for those who think these are exaggerations, the Rapture Tour in South Africa 2014 had an attendance of 90,000 people over two shows, it's no wonder that was the most discussed Eminem topic of the day. And hours after the drama, Nasty C cleared things up on IG with this. There Eminem, I love you. If you see the video going around right now, don't pay no mind to it, just laugh about it and move on, I'm scared of you. And on the post about this on IG, a user state, everybody is afraid of the guy who made not afraid, how ironic. But some believe Eminem didn't even see the first video to begin with. First. Eminem has no clue who the F that dude is, so second, he will never see the video. But people forget that Nasty C has appeared on Eminem's Shade 45, and Eminem actually pays more attention than people give him credit for, hence this reaction. 
Nah, MC's everything, lol. If you focus on his lyrics, you could tell he's responding to everybody that talk trash about him. And that user comes around with this. Facts, he pays attention to everything. So I think it's a 50-50 if he knows or not. Now that's a more thought out reaction, which reminds me of when news was going around that Eminem was scared of what Mariah might say about him in her book and Eminem dropped an easter egg about this news in these demons. You can find out more on this in this video I did from December 2020 and over on reddit in reaction to Narcissi's message about that cloud video, a user states, how many times has M said absolutely nothing and still won? Gotta be some kind of record at this point. Comment below and see you on the next one.